All right, students, we have the careless bottle cap. In football, a quarterback's completion percentage is found by taking the completions and dividing by the attempts. So how many catches? Completion. So a completion is when quarterback throws, receiver catches it, boom, right in the hands. Um, and then everything that isn't a completion would be a drop or an interception or all those fun things. But you divide by the total attempts. So what do we got here? Find the pass attempts. Oh, so we're missing the attempts. Okay. If a quarterback had 75 completions and completed 60.5 of their passes. Okay, so first of all, percents are pretty, but remember decimals do the work. Okay, percents are pretty, but decimals do the work. So this is actually going to be a decimal. Which one? That one. So watch this. 0. 0.605 is going to equal 75 completions. So 75 is going to go up here in the attempts. That's what I'm trying to find. Okay? That's what I'm trying to find. 75 over A equals 0. 0.605. All right, so let's solve for A. Watch this move. Remember, when you're dividing by a variable and then you have the actual answer number over here, there's a nice little trick that allows you just to switch them. The attempts are going to be, excuse me, the number of attempts are going to be the completions divided by that percentage. Okay, so you're working backwards. Okay, um, so here we go. Let's do that really quick. Let's see what we get. 75 divided by 0.605. Now, if you were going to round that to a whole attempt, how many attempts do you think that quarterback made? I'm going to say 124. It's really, really close to 124. So um, decimals and percents don't always work out perfectly and beautifully because not all numbers are divisible and they make nice numbers. Not all numbers are that way. So I'm guessing this 60.5 was rounded. Okay. So let's see. I'm, what was it again? 124? Okay. I'm guessing they had 124 attempts. Let's double check. Okay, let's double check. 75 completions out of 124 attempts. Look at that. 0. 0.604. Uh oh, rounded up to five. There we go. So 124 attempts. I hope that's over several games. 124 throws in one game? Jeez Louise. Good golly. That's a lot of throws. Well, 75 completions is a lot of completions. All right. So anyway, um, that's the shortcut. I'm trying to think if I want to show you the, the correct way to do it. Let's see, 0. 0.605. This is what most math teachers would show you because it's the right way to do it. But you know what? Who can judge me? Uh, I think most math teachers would like take both sides times A. Okay, so the A's would cancel. So then you'd have A times 0. 0.605 equaling 75. Okay, and then watch this. Divide by 0 0.605. Divide by 0 0.605. Oh, weird. You're telling me the final move was to take 75 divided by 0 0.605? Weird. No way. So solving it the normal way and solving it with the fast, shortcut, most efficient way gets you the same answer. Cool. So in my opinion, if you can do it the same way and do it faster, yeah, sounds like that's the best option to me. Okay, that was the careless bottle cap.